Welcome to our video exploring the golden age of comedy TV shows from the 1970s. Join us as we take a hilarious trip down memory lane and revisit some of the most iconic and influential sitcoms that shaped the landscape of television. From witty dialogue to memorable characters, we'll delve into why these shows continue to resonate with audiences even after all these years. MASH, 1972. MASH, also known as MASH, was a groundbreaking comedy TV show set during the Korean War. It followed the lives of the staff at the fictional Mobile Army Surgical Hospital, MASH, unit as they dealt with the harsh realities of war while injecting humor into their everyday lives. The show combined comedy and drama to provide a poignant commentary on war and its impact on those involved. MASH became immensely popular due to its compelling characters, sharp writing, and captivating performances. Saturday Night Live, 1975 Saturday Night Live revolutionized sketch comedy when it burst onto television screens in 1975. Created by Lorne Michaels, this late-night variety show featured a talented ensemble cast that included comedic legends such as Chevy Chase, John Belushi, Gilda Radner, Dan Aykroyd, and countless others over the years. Each episode featured live sketches poking fun at current events and popular culture trends while delivering hilarious performances that often pushed boundaries. SNL became known for iconic characters like the Blues Brothers and recurring sketches like Weekend Update. The Muppet Show, 1976, created by Jim Henson, The Muppet Show brought puppetry to mainstream television in an entirely new way. Blending humor with music and celebrity guest appearances, this variety show showcased beloved characters such as Kermit the Frog, Miss Piggy, Fozzie Bear, Gonzo the Great, and more. Each episode followed a vaudeville-style format featuring comical skits paired with musical numbers from both guest stars and regular characters alike. All in the Family, 1971. All in the Family was a sitcom that broke numerous barriers during its run from 1971 to 1979. This controversial yet highly influential show centered around Archie Bunker, a working-class bigot whose conservative views clashed with those around him including his wife Edith played by Jean Stapleton. All in the Family tackled sensitive topics such as racism, sexism, homophobia, and politics through humor while challenging societal norms. This innovative show paved the way for more realistic and socially conscious sitcoms in the years to come. The Mary Tyler Moore Show 1970. The Mary Tyler Moore Show was a groundbreaking sitcom that focused on the life of Mary Richards, played by Mary Tyler Moore herself. The show portrayed Mary as an independent and career-driven woman working as a television news producer in Minneapolis. The series explored themes of female empowerment, career ambitions, and navigating social dynamics. With its sharp writing and talented ensemble cast including Ed Asner, Valerie Harper, Betty White, among others, The Mary Tyler Moore Show became not only a critical success but also a cultural touchstone for feminist representation on television. Happy Days, 1974, as one of the most popular sitcoms of the 1970s, Happy Days portrayed 1950s nostalgia with its wholesome characters set in Milwaukee during post-World War II America. Centering around teenager Richie Cunningham played by Ron Howard, his family friends at Arnold's Drive-In. Happy Days captured the innocence of youth with memorable characters like Arthur Fonzie Fonzarelli, played by Henry Winkler, who became an iconic symbol of coolness, sticking around well after his intended minor role. With its feel-good nature and relatable coming-of-age storylines, it reached widespread popularity among viewers. Taxi, 1978 Taxi was a character-driven sitcom that followed a group of New York City taxi drivers working for the Sunshine Cab Company. Featuring an ensemble cast led by Judd Hirsch, Danny DeVito, Christopher Lloyd, among others, Taxi stood out through its blend humorous moments with genuine emotional depth. This critically acclaimed show tackled various themes including ambition trials, tribulations, daily life showcased distinctively quirky yet relatable characters making it both funny heartwarming simultaneously. WKRP in Cincinnati, 1978 WKRP in Cincinnati was a workplace sitcom that took place at a struggling radio station in Ohio. The show revolved around the humorous exploits of the eccentric staff as they tried to breathe new life into their station. With an eclectic cast consisting of characters like DJ Johnny Fever, 
played by Howard Hessman and program director Andy Travis, played by Gary Sandy, the series utilized witty writing and offbeat humor to explore both the triumphs and setbacks that come with running a radio station.